if all you want from a note-taking app is, well, taking notes, simply taking notes, I think I have a good candidate for you here. It's available for Android, iOS, and there is a web client, which is what I'm using today because it's easier to show you all the features, but they are all the same in all the clients. I already have an account and we'll get there soon, but this is what you see if you start from scratch. And talking about seeing, everything I'll show you today is available on the free account. But if you are looking for a smarter GPT or longer notes, you can subscribe uh, for $10 a month, or there is this limited lunch offer, $50 for lifetime. Whatever you choose, even if it's the free account, please subscribe using my affiliated link. This is not a sponsored video. And if you like what I do here on the channel, this is a way to help. Okay, let's start from the beginning. These are my notes. They are in this timeline style, which I like. At the top, we have a search box. To the left, we have all starred. This is in reality a, a, a tag, we'll get there, and shared, I don't have any shared notes for now. Down here we have the upgrade uh, that I have already shown you, and below here my account settings, which I'm not going to show you. Okay, to create a note, all you have to do is record that note. Uh, by the way, I set my Android, the two taps, on the back of the phone to open. Oh, and everything you saw there is here. It's the same thing. So two taps and I get to the, the main screen, tap record and start recording. And that's it, done. And this will now be converted to text and we'll see it, we'll soon see it right here. And here it is. And as you can see, there is a title. I didn't record a title, didn't tell the AI to create a title, but all the notes, they have titles. I didn't create any of these titles. It was all automatic. Hovering the mouse over the notes, you see some options. You have the edit option. You can add text or change something. And this is, uh, these are the tags. So there's this one that I guess was already here. I don't remember creating this start. So let's create a new one. Let's call this, uh, let's go video and add video. So now we have two tags, start and video. Okay, let's go back to all. And as you can see, there is this AI symbol here. Let's get a longer note. For example, this one here. I can click here and, for example, create a blog post. Wow, this is a lot. I'm not going to read it now. Uh, I, I, I'm leaving it here on the screen for, for a moment so you can pause and, and compare the two blocks of, of text. But let me give you some context here. I was talking about this number here. I was trying to figure out what it is. Obviously, it's not the number of notes. I have more than one note. Uh, I think this is a streak. When I recorded two or three days uh, in a row, this number increased. And here we also have our notes, the days we took the notes. Unfortunately, there's no way to click here. And there's a little competition here. If we hover the mouse, ranked based on the number of unique days you recorded notes. So I am 821 out of 14,600 note takers. I don't really like this kind of competitions, but <laughs> if you are into this, here it is. We can also ask the AI some things. For example, let's try show me the notes I created, created last week. Here's some notes, show sources. So here are the notes 
I created last week. And there's one thing I also tried. Okay, here it is. This one. Let's try this. Uh, list main points. Yeah, I thought it would create a list showing me the camera, computer, phone. It didn't. Let's try this one here. Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to create a to-do list. Yeah, this one created. Let's delete this. Let's try a to-do list. Bring computer to and bring phone. Okay. That's interesting. Let's delete it. Let's let's make this a to-do list. Kind of the same. Okay, let's try create a tweet. Heading to Lisbon this Friday, armed with my camera, computer, phone. <laughs> Not that I'll forget, just making a note, excited to see what unfolds. It's a good tweet. And from here, we can copy it and paste it somewhere. And then there's share. If we share, or if you want to share this note, anyone with the link will have access to this voice note. Oh, and this is something interesting too. All the audio recordings are still here. I can play any of them. So far, these are my thoughts on voice notes. And talking about recording, I showed you the creation of note using my phone, but of course you can also click here. And there's this create here that is similar to hovering the mouse, but there are other options here. For example, there is the custom instruction, create a social media post. Uh, let's choose that one about the trip to Lisbon. Let's see if it's going to show me the same tweet or something new. On Friday, packing my sanctuary. Yeah, it's a different one. I told you it was simple, but at the same time, I think it can be very useful for capturing thoughts, idea. It's so quick, especially if you if you set up the double tap. I think you can do that on an iPhone now too and record your thoughts. And remember, if you want to try it, please use my affiliated link. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider becoming a Patreon, a YouTube member or buying me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.